front yard of this home. Now, you can still see some blood on the door. Now, because investigators found that, neighbors here believe Risby may have walked over and knocked on the door looking for help. Now, investigators are still trying to figure out if that's what happened, while at the same time, track down those responsible. Police arrived just after 4.30 a.m., and soon after, the light of the morning revealed blood on the door and news that 18-year-old Dalen Risby died at the hospital. I think it's terrible. Neighbor Donna Bond says she's seeing more and more crime in the area, but it's not just happening in East Nashville. We just wish that something could be done. Risby's death <coughs> marks the 42nd murder of 2015, an alarming statistic because all of 2014 saw only 41 murders. Now, with four months still left in the year, Nashville <coughs> is on pace to reach about 60 homicides by New Year's Day. It does not ever get any easier. Rashid at Fatuga is the president of Gideon's Army, a grassroots organization that steers teens away from crime, and she's noticed an alarming trend. There is definitely an increase in violence among youth in Nashville. Back in June, Fox 17 reported on three teenagers shot and killed in just eight days. Monday morning's murder struck a young man just months removed from high school. Fatuga says a lack of jobs is often a factor, but no matter the cause, she says Nashville's next mayor needs to act quickly to stop the violent trend. We are ready to hold accountable whoever is elected, but it's going to take families, it's going to take the youth, it's going to take the communities, but it's also going to have to take our government cooperation. Fox 17 plans to ask both mayoral candidates, David Fox and Megan Berry, how they plan to address this issue on Fox 17's mayoral town hall, airing Wednesday night right here on Fox 17. Reporting live in East Nashville, Eric Alvarez, Fox 17 News.